Hello, welcome to week nine. And week nine is going to move forward in our journey into uh, a new layer of uh, what we're going to call knowledge. So as we've worked very hard for the past several weeks, uh, we've actually taken something and we built layers on top of it in order to get it out to someone uh, to call it information. So a user could, could actually use this information. And you guys have explored a couple of things last week that I think are hopefully clicking now as to why we uh, format the way we do. One is the exploration of if this then that, which just is there to show you about this idea of flow and how uh, a experience is really about showing you something. Uh, you make a choice and it rewards you of that choice. So if we thought about last week, it was really just structurally how do we show um, our data on the screen or our content. And here is more how do you manipulate it. And I think that that manipulation is extremely important. It's very uh, rare to just dump a lot of information out to a website and have it be useful for anyone without some way of organizing it. Uh, that being said, Google's pretty good at organizing, so you kind of have to do a better job than Google. And I think you all did uh, great on that, uh, on that uh, front. Uh, next, we talked about this idea of a storyboard. And this has to do with, I think, just uh, thinking through that process. What do people see? What do they do? And then finally to uh, put together everything into a storyboard. And I talked uh, through many. And I, I do hope that everyone got a chance to look closely at other people's work, uh, mainly because you might see that there's a lot of similarities to how things uh, are able to be displayed to a user so that they can manipulate, move, and go back. And I think it comes to the things that we've We've studied in the course. We've studied about how you uh, understand the information and content and mark it up and what is it, uh, what's its hierarchy is extremely important. And secondly, uh, when you get into the storyboarding, you're, you're trying to talk about like, how, how do you uh, correct from errors? How do you move forward? How do you move back and find something of interest? And as I said, I think you've all done a, a great job and hopefully you've got a, a chance to see different comments about uh, different people's work. And that's really uh, the goal of uh, working in Mural. I know it's kind of unusual to share information like this, but you also might see that there's a lot of similarities and that's a good thing. There are a lot of patterns out there of how this is supposed to work that you can leverage as a UX uh, or an information architect, that you don't have to invent everything from scratch. So this week, uh, we've got, uh, again, a kind of a lot to do. Uh, let me introduce it as succinctly as possible. So this week, we're going to talk about that next layer up. How do you become knowledge? How do you become trustworthy? And in reading the module, you'll see there's a lot of information there. I have two tactics. Uh, one, to be trustworthy, is to allow uh, reviews. And I think many of you have, have seen this. Can people contribute uh, to rating your information? Um, there's a lot of examples of this, that, that being able to rate and dynamically rank information people consider to be uh, very important. It saves them time. It says, oh, this is popular, and therefore I can give my attention to it. Thank you, Service X. Um, how, does the, how do those ratings work? Well, let's start in one way. We'll just go ahead um, and start this voting session. So in this case, uh, what was... give you a vote. And uh, we'll, we'll play with this idea. And there's voting uh, involved in Mural, and, and hopefully we get an idea of how that metadata, so if we go into this week, we'll talk about metadata, or data about data. Uh, how does it work? What does it look like? So uh, we're looking at week nine, metadata. And there's a few exercises. The first one is that we're going to uh, pick a topic for our final, and the topic is going to be literally, it's a, it's a journey exactly like yours. These are all services uh, that rely upon uh, user-entered data, and the organization of that data and how it's displayed, etc., is the way uh, that they've found success. And I'd like you to explore how did they do that? How did they organize it? How did they structure it so that it made this more valuable than just as you found. It's, it's hard enough to get a record out on the screen. So 
Uh, we'll talk about that and there any questions about what service to use. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that rating thing and, uh, and metadata itself. So if you also have a service that you use that you feel is, is, um, is impactful, share it with us. So we're just going to talk about how they do that. And on the other side, uh, this is kind of a tiny uh, mini course in a bigger subject, and that is data visualization. And the reason why this is included is that you could have that sense of rating and or uh, a, a community that makes a service popular. Or on the other side, you could just visualize things that are incredibly complicated and, and with the hope that people trust that you didn't mess it up. Uh, that's a hard thing to do, but there's a lot of examples to go into here. And in terms of data visualization, I, I'm going to kind of leave it at that. This is obviously something I'm really interested in, but in terms of the course, it's a bigger subject. And fortunately, there is a course called data visualization in the, in the degree program. So maybe it's a teaser to, to kind of explore that. I think it's a really great subject. Uh, and then so lastly, as you pick a service, and we, I want one service per person, uh, so earlier the better, I think, if you have a particular thing that you're fond of. I'd actually like you to pick a service that's similar to what you explored. That would be great because then you've already got some knowledge of kind of structurally how it works. Uh, that Then you can see another service and say, oh, they, they did this or that or the other thing better than me. And hopefully that service isn't the one you originally started with. Uh, so why not share what you're thinking and what you think the core data is of the service that you've picked uh, here in this in this area. And so it's really a, a, about uh, contributing this week on a, on a lighter basis. We'll also talk next week about the next layer of wisdom. And uh, please, I'm looking forward to looking at all your work and grading it. So maybe there'll be some side discussions as well. So have a great week.